Okay, so hey everybody, it is Capri, and today I'm going to be doing a twist out. I'm going to be trying out a new product that I never use, and it is the Miss Jessie's Curly Merengue Sweet Almond Oil and Avocado Oil. I'll do a close up, but I wanted to say it's for natural curls, kinks, and wigs, pony puffs, TWAs, twists, braid outs, transitioners. Hold on, I think I probably like what does that sound? Okay, um, transitioners, coiling, and silkeners. And then it says, finally, the first curl cream created for naturally curly, kinky, and wavy hair. No more frizz, no more shrinkage. We'll see about that. No more dull curls. This conditioning curl cream maximizes curl length and makes your curls last longer. It adds natural shine and healthy luster. I'm gonna be using this on half of my hair. Cause I want to see if what if what it's saying is true. Like if there's nothing that I've ever tried that said that you got no shrinkage and it actually worked. So I'm gonna use this on the left side of my head, and then on the right side I'm going to be using my curl enhancing smoothie as well as my Eco Styler gel. Okay, so I'm not quite done with my hair yet, but I did want to come back to you guys and just show you something really, really quickly. Okay, so this is what I used on the left side of my head. This is the Miss Jessie's Curly Meringue, and of course y'all know that on the right side of my head, I used the Shea Moisture with some Equal Styler Gel. So, I just wanted to come back to you guys really quick and show you that this does say no more shrinkage on it. Of course, you're still gonna get shrinkage, Duh. but I noticed that if you look at this like my hair like this side sticks out like stands up and sticks out taller and it's also longer like look in the back like this half is the Miss Jessie's and this half is the gel and the Shea Moisture like so it did make it shrink a little bit less I don't know just putting it on it definitely just defined my curls and things um just putting that on, I didn't put any gel or anything, like just putting this on it by itself, my hair was like very, very defined. Now, if I were to just put this Shea Moisture on my hair, it would not be defined like at all. That's why I always have to add like some gel to it. It might be defined a little bit, but not as much as this did. So I really, really like that so far. So let's get right back into the styling portion of this video. Okay, so this is the final result of my twist out on my short natural hair. I know y'all been waiting for a natural hair video. I keep giving y'all wigs, but don't fret. 
I'm going to continue making natural hair videos. This is my hair. If you didn't know or if you haven't watched my second Big Chuck video, definitely go check that out. It'll be down below in the description box for you guys so that you guys can see the whole process and what my hair was looking like before it was looking like this. So I actually really, I actually really like the way this twist out came out. I mean, it is a bit frizzy because I can't stop like touching my hair and I feel like I shouldn't have I shouldn't have separated it as much as I did um, but that's the issue that I've always had like over over separating my hair on the first day because it only gets bigger as the days go on if you have natural hair then you definitely know that already when I don't really know how it is to um I don't really know how to make short natural hair stay like in this style and go to sleep because you know I can't pineapple it so I really don't know what to do y'all help me out help me out what am I supposed to do to um, make my styles last because even the last time when I came on here and I showed you guys my hair after I chopped it it was not looking like that when I woke up the next day tell me what you guys think about this style I'm actually really really loving the fact that it's short and I know it's gonna grow but like it's kind of bittersweet the fact that it's gonna grow because I do I'm starting to really really like it this length and I like that I don't have to use so much product which saves me some coins but then again I still I want my long hair back but yes as you guys know I used the Miss Jessie's on the left side and I used Eco Solid Gel and Shea Moisture on the right side the only difference that I noticed was that the Miss Jessie's defined my curls just on its own like it's like it had its own like gel built into it or something like it really defined my hair really really well with just that alone on this side if I were to just use the Shea Moisture my hair would not be as defined adding gel to it is what defines my hair on this side and gave it some hold this side is not crunchy I mean yeah you can tell there's a hold to it, but it's not crunchy. The Miss Jessie side, it doesn't feel as moisturized to me as this side does. Like this side, you can definitely feel that there is moisturized. This side, I don't feel like it gave me much moisture. It definitely gave me shine though. Like, But I feel both sides have like an equivalent amount of shine to them, so I don't really see a difference on that. So what I will do at a later date is just try to use the Miss Jessie's itself as um, in my hair to do a wash and go and just see if like how that goes and then I'll do a separate video doing a wash and go with what I usually would use in my hair. The Miss Jessie's product, oh my god it smells so good, it really really smells so good and I don't know what I can compare the smell to, I don't know, it just smells really really good but for some people it might be a little bit overbearing because it is very strong. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.